Have you ever let anyone into your life knowing full well that within just a few short months you would simultaneously can't stand the sight of them yet can't live without them? My family has, yet luckily we lived to tell the tale. Hi, I'm Leah and welcome to Hide and Seek and welcome to my review of Lullaby by Lila Slimani. Translated from the French by Sam Taylor. Wow, what a roller coaster ride of a novel. Now, I can't tell you if I loved it or I hated it, but sure as eggs, I keep thinking about it. A young, upwardly mobile French family goes in search of the services of a nanny to look after their two children whilst the mother returns to work. This is a feeling and experience with which I am intimately familiar. As a full time working mother and business owner, we employed a nanny for the first eight years of my child's life. And it was a wonderful experience, but we did get off to a few false starts. I felt that the author portrayed that anxiety, that apprehension, the tension that Miriam felt trying to let go of raising her children, the difficulty in expressing the honesty to herself and to her family saying, you know what, staying at home is not for me. I want, I need to go back to work. It is a challenge for any young mother to go, oh my goodness and entrust the care of your children to another and i felt that really rang true in this novel i felt the nerves i felt the apprehension i felt miriam's distress but there were other parts of the novel i found to be completely challenging from the get-go you know that the children are dead yet at not one point in the novel do you find out any reason why you experience an investigation into the murder, you experience flashbacks of Louise the nanny and Miriam the mother and the rest of the family through time, you experience different vignettes of the lives involved here, yet at no point do you really get an explanation of what happened or why it happened. You just have the death, some flashbacks and then the end and that was the most frustrating thing. Each of the flashbacks, each of the vignettes was so taut, so well written, so compelling, yet they went nowhere. Oh, I really was frustrated in the end at both Miriam and Louise, two articulate, intelligent women, yet who tended to make the most stupid mistakes in their lives. I couldn't get past these flaws, these empty, gaping holes within the story, and that actually detracted from the experience of the book for me. So if simply I'm looking at the writing and the experience of the characters and the stories, that was wonderful. I loved the characters. I loved their flaws, but I just didn't like the fact that overall it went nowhere. Have you ever read a book that you go, oh, really? What was that about? Because at the end of 200 odd pages, I just went, oh, is that all? So, have you ever had a book like that? I think this is my first snarky review. It really wasn't that snarky, but not my favourite book I've read so far. But thank you for watching and have a fabulous day.